we come again to investigate some of the forces of nature and in this series so far we've explored electrostatic forces the forces young men which result when two things which are different are rubbed together that is one way to produce electrostatic forces and to separate electric charges now the adventure today is of a most extraordinary kind Gregory Gregory with the freckles here I have a piece of lucite, which I think you call here perspex. You heard that word, perspex? Mm. And I have rubbed it all over with my hand so that it is electrostatically neutral. Here I have a metal plate, and metals are good electric conductors. And this plate is electrostatically neutral, but it has a lucite handle, although it could have a wooden handle, any kind of an insulator would be very good. Now this system of plate and plate and handle constitute what we call an electrophorus. I'll just write that down. Electrophorus. Now this is a marvelous machine because it can do wonderful things. Watch me. All electric, electrically neutral. I'm going to take the fur and slap this slab. Incidentally, slap the slab. Do you know what alliteration is? Yes. Very good. How about slap the slab? Isn't that alliteration? Yes. Huh? Right? Right. Now what have I done? I've done some work. And I say that I have given that slab an electric charge. And the fur also, but I'm not interested in that. Now I'm going to take the metal plate and put it down on top of the slab. And a marvelous thing has already taken place, which I'll describe in a moment. Now I'm going to put my finger on the top of the metal plate. And now I'm going to lift it up. And you just stay right still, Gregory. Oh, did you get something? Did you feel something? We may be in a little trouble. Ho ho! Why? This is something. I'm getting nothing. This is amazing. Let me rub it with another piece of fur. Do you see, young men, I mentioned some time ago that electrostatic forces are a little tricky, didn't I? Eh? Yes. And here they are tricking me plenty. But I'm not too worried. Oh, did you hear something? Yes. Did you? Did you hear something? Well, I heard something and I felt it also. Did you hear it? Right. Now, let me try it. Oh, did you get it, eh? <laughs> yeah, let me try it again. I love that. Oh, I just like that. Oh, that was a good one. Um, now you see, do I not have some electric energy in the plate? Yes, yes. And I'm going to describe how it comes about. Watch me. Watch me now. Here is the slab of lucite. And you could make that. You could get a slab of lucite or a slab of paraffin or sealing wax will do. Now I slapped it with the fur. And I say there is a negative charge on its upper surface. That's what happens. Now here is the metal plate, and this is the handle which holds it. And I brought the metal plate down closely on the slab of lucite, and at that moment, since the contact is not everywhere smooth, there arises on the bottom side of the metal plate this kind of a charge, and on the upper side this kind. So there is a negative charge on the upper surface of that plate. Now I put my finger on it. That's equivalent to running the negative charges to Earth. Now there is no negative charge there, but rather an abundance of positive charge. And I can tell that because the plate feels, do you feel rather sticky? 
And do you see that that should be so? Because are not these charges holding the plates together, right? Yes. Now then, this plate has a potential energy level above that of ground and, oh yes. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> now I've charged him plenty, Winton, so I better give you a little electric energy. Oh, that's it. Now, what can I do with that energy? I'm going to do an amazing thing. This is a fluorescent lamp, right? I'm going to light this lamp. And so, if we can have the studio lights dim somewhat, as we did it before, watch the lamp light. Watch the lamp light. Did you see the lamp? Was it, did it show on the television? Did it show? I think the lights are not as they were before, which is a requirement. Did it show? No, no, we can't have all the lights like that. We need the lights dimmed in the manner they, oh, that may do it. Where shall I hold it? Yes, what? All right, watch it. No, this is not the way it was before. Oh, there it showed. Did you see the lamp light? Yes. So, if your, if your electricity bill is not paid and the, the energy lines, the power companies, uh, shut off your electric energy, can you not make such a device and light a lamp in order to study your history and poetry, right? Yes. And so, ladies and gentlemen, as is our practice, my records to the school and my books to the two young men, and we shall return another day with more on the wonderful forces of nature.